Okay, today we're going to be looking at how to re remove the light from a Toyota Highlander. <clears throat> in this case, you'll see that the reason I need to remove the light is there's water in it, and um, you'll see the link to my other video on how to actually get moisture out of a headlight. A whole separate story. Today we're just going to be discussing and looking at how to actually get this light out. Um, this is the headlight. This is the passenger headlight on a Toyota Highlander. Obviously very similar for the driver's side, but um, you can see here why I need to get it out. So, don't need many things. You'll see me with my little handy dandy tool. You can use a knife, a flat screwdriver, um, heck about anything. You just need to pop these little clips up. And um, if you're careful, you should be able to reuse all of those clips. If not, you can pick up a, a package of them um, on Amazon or even like AutoZone. They sell these clips for specifically for Toyotas. I have a whole assortment of them, but you're going to want to remove all of these clips on this little plastic piece that goes across the top. You may be tempted just to remove the ones over the headlight, um, but I'm going to show you the easy way. It takes only a few minutes more to do it the way I'm showing you, but it will save you so much headache. Um, you can potentially get away with just kind of doing things over on the driver's side, but just, just follow my instructions and I'll make this super easy for you. There's nothing hard about this. You really only need two tools, a flat, um, flat screwdriver like you see I've got here, or some sort of spreader, uh, maybe a Phillips screwdriver. You actually don't have to have it, but um, you'll see me taking this out. It's also a number 10. So this is right above the headlight. You're gonna remove this one, one screw. So a number 10 and a flat screwdriver or something are about all you need to do this. So now we're gonna remove this bolt right here holding the grill um, to the front bumper area and then pop these clips out. These are the clips that are holding the grill to the actual frame. Again, you see how easy this is. Just be careful, try not to break them and you'll have no trouble reusing them. They're pretty cheap if you do have to pick them up and you just, you put them back in just by pushing them. Nothing to it, this is, this is pretty simple. So let's go over to the other side, remove that same bolt that we took out of the driver, uh, passenger side. And again, these are number 10, so probably the most common socket you'll see used on a Toyota. And once you get all those out, we're over here on the passenger side and I'm gonna remove this one screw from up at the top. And sometimes you'll find these have been replaced with other screws and such. So use whatever is required. Like this one is just, I'm using a flat screwdriver to pull it out. Um, and if you've had body work done, they don't always go back with what's in there. So, you know, use common sense and judgment to remove whatever is holding it there. And then once you get that done, you're going to want to get underneath. And there are several screws or um, bolts. Most of them have a flat head as well as a number 10. And you're definitely going to, definitely going to need to remove the side for the headlight you're working on, which in our case is the passenger side. You do not have to remove the ones on the opposite side. You don't have to fully remove the bumper from the car, but you do have to, for all intents and purposes, mostly remove the bumper from the car just to get access. You could get away with probably pulling out less bolts and screws than I'm showing you. Um, just trust me, it's easier to do it this way. It's not much more time, really a couple minutes extra time, and it just saves you a lot of frustration from having to try to pry the bumper away from the headlight while you simultaneously try to pull the light out and, and do other things. So just, just do it this way. So down underneath the bottom of the bumper, there's a set of um, screws or bolts that go across the bottom, and um, I'll get you a better angle so you can see what I'm doing. Just go all the way over to the driver's side and you do not have to take out the ones that are um, the very end ones. That It'll give you plenty of flexibility in the bumper, but you do need to make it um, pretty much all the way across the grill. So you'll need to make it all the way, in, in this case, to the right side of the grill, to the driver's side of the grill, but you don't have to go past that. Um, you don't have to get into the, the fender well area over there. Um, you can, it'll make it easy. It'll even make it a little bit easier, but you don't have to, um, and I'll show you Right here, there's one, one last bolt you can take out right here. But you do not have to come up the fender well and take out the screw and that plug like you saw me do on the driver, on the passenger side. You don't have to do that. This will give you plenty of flexibility. So between the grill and the frame, you'll need to pop out one more plug. Just stick a screwdriver down there and you can get it out. And then look, 
this whole bumper comes away and now you see why we took some of those screws out it just lets you get the bumper with enough um, freedom that you can get in here now this little plastic piece take out just loosen up this very front bolt you don't have to do the back one just loosen up the very front one and that'll give you all the working room you need once you start um, kind of playing with the light um, you'll be able to get this out so just loosen that up and then right above the light pick up pull up this black plastic piece and there's one last screw in here um, use a Phillips screw or number 10 remove this last screw and then that's pretty much it once you get that screw out um, you may kind of have to jiggle the light a little bit for lack of a more professional term um, but once you get that last one out <clears throat> that's about it you may have some trouble picking up the bracket um, you kind of have to lift the bracket up over um, the screw hole and then once you do the light literally just lifts out the front it's a shame you got to pretty much dismantle the car to get to this point um, then once you get the light out disconnect the electrical connectors for the actual bulbs and that's about it if you've got water in it now you can look at my other video on how to dry the water out but again nothing hard about this it does take a little while and it does look like you basically dismantled your car just to get a headlight out but such is the life of repairing cars yourself all right guys hope that hope that helps um one last thing before i go please please do me a favor do me do me three favors before you go if the video was helpful please click like if you aren't already subscribed please click the subscribe button and if there are videos you want to see please post in the comments below post you know a video you want to see and i'll do my best can't make any promises but um in the past i have been able to make videos at viewers request so um post what you need to see and i'll see what i can do all right see you guys next time